before 6 a.m. three times a week, they run together for miles. If you saw them, you wouldn't guess the lives they've led. Homeless, on the streets. They're part of a group called Back on My Feet, and as Roseanne Tejas reports, they're positively Chicago. Some are doctors, some are accountants, and some are homeless. Come on, Bob. But on the streets of Chicago, hey, buddy. in the early morning hours, <laughs> they are all simply runners. I thought I was going to join a running club, right? And it ended up being a family that I gained. George Galanos was a crack addict, an ex-con, and eventually homeless. That is until he joined Back on My Feet, a running club fighting homelessness by showing people like Galanos a new path. Being a runner just um, allows you to redefine yourself and just be a runner and you're part of the team and you can just shed those negative labels and move forward. About 60 homeless participants, many of whom have never run before, are hitting the streets with partners who help them set goals. And with the help of the team, they run a, a block, a couple of blocks, their first mile, their first 5K, and it really spills over into the rest of their life. And so it's awesome to just see them realize what else is possible. What was going through your mind? You know, at first... Did you see the connection? I seen the connection. It starts like with getting up at five in the morning, dedication, and slowly you get your self-dignity back. Struggling with addiction for years, Galanos also lacks some basic life skills. I was computer illiterate. I didn't know how to download my email and send it, and they, t they taught me that. They helped with the resume and even put the bill for the kitchen knives and uniform Galanos needed to get his job as a line cook at Chicago's Eataly. It's 35 there. Galanos is truly learning the recipe for success and savoring his new independence. Guys like George, yeah, they're a huge in inspiration for me. Bob Trask is one of more than 100 volunteers who offer support and encouragement every step of the way. Like everything in our lives, um, it's taking that next step, looking for that next sunrise, and believing that the best is yet to come. I was existing, but now I'm living, and it feels so great. I can't even explain it. It's positively Chicago. Roseanne Teus, CBS2 News. Galanos has lost 15 pounds and even run a half marathon. His bad habits now replaced with exercise, camaraderie, and optimism. About 600 homeless people have been through the Back on My Feed program. 50% have gone on to get jobs and housing. You can check out our website, cbschicago.com, for more on this program.